So hey, hey, what's up? It's uh, it's Cyber again, and I'm testing my uh, OpenGL uh, WebGL engine DGen. So uh, I've been working on the UI stuff, so I'm gonna right click, and if you right click anywhere, if it, sadly you can't see the mouse, but I'm moving the mouse, and these are like the um, kind of context menu. So I'm gonna go load, this is new. Um, so you're not gonna be able to see the uh, OS menu, it's like file, dialogue extended or something that I'm using because uh, SDL actually can't just like open files with the OS. Um, I'm gonna load this uh, cell phone I had that I used for one of the, one of the videos. So uh, I just loaded up the phone. It's um, kind of small over here. Um, so I could just put the, the Y let's say here. And then I'll show you the other thing I added. If I go here to the graph, uh, I click uh, graph. And then this is the world or the scene or whatever you want to call it. And that's just like a default name. And the thing I just loaded is called cell phone. So if I click once on this, it selects it. It's kind of hard to see, but if I double click, then it zooms in um, on the cell phone. And I can use the middle mouse to do this kind of kind of orbit thing with the middle mouse, which is like pretty smooth. Um, can be used for like a photo mode or something. And then... Uh, I added some controls on the shift, um, for the keyboard shift and control. So if I hold control, I could zoom in and out, but I could still orbit on the X axis. So I'm like moving around or whatever. And then if I hold shift, it lets me move the Y up and down, um, which is uh, going to be more important for like characters or like, uh, you know, objects that are, that are going to be like larger than the screen. But uh, for this, it's kind of a small model, but it lets you move. So now you have all like x y z basically um to get to get like a good good angle and then um so it's mostly like my, my internet was actually down for like almost a week like five days and i was working i just fixed some bugs that in the internet so if i uh like i said if you double click the cell phone you could like focus and then double click slate which is the floor it like zooms out but the uh control still works so i could go back and forth like cell phone and then zoom out here um it's a little weird because the the floor is, is is i don't know like 25 or 30 meters or something so it's uh it, it'll be more useful if you have like objects close up and um one of the other things i i fixed was here if on the cell phone there's this context menu if you right click um so you have focus rename and delete so these are all working so i could if i go here slate let's say i go here delete slate it is a confirm menu i'm gonna click ok and it's it's deleted and then if i want to load it um i'm just gonna go back and load uh slate so now it just loads back and that was super quick because uh i cache like the resources files like the textures and and, and whatever you know models you're you're loading um probably in uh in a game i'd like to work on the research like you know match resources better but uh for the editor it's kind of good to have some cash so here i could uh go back to the graph and then on cell phone i could right click and do rename and i'll just make this like android uh phone and you could use like special characters or you know whatever you want uh and then here uh now it's android phone i can do the same thing just, just double click or whatever um so that's good. And then um, I'll show with one of the characters with like the latest character I have. So if I go here, let's just go here and just rename this to uh, like Street Floor. And it uh, looked like there was a UI bug where the, the text changes real quick, but that's uh, kind of cosmetic. I can fix that. And then for the Android phone, we're gonna go here, right click delete. Do you want to delete Android phone? And you see like it's uh, the special characters, like the, that, that's fine, I think yes. And then I'm gonna load uh, one of the uh, the characters I'm working on for the game. And uh, so here, this is gonna take a little while to load. She has like 4K textures and all kind of. It might also be kind of. I might have to zoom out because last. Yeah, this is the same thing happens. Like I zoomed in. So if I uh, double click, so now that's the character centered, and I'm doing the middle mouse like rotate or whatever. Um, and this, the controls are, are better, uh, you know, because I'm doing a lot of character work. So if I hold control and then middle mouse, you know, it could zoom in. And then if I hold shift, I'm moving, you know, up and down. So I can get here and you can get, you know, get like a, a good angle, get it, um, 
kind of frame correctly with the camera and then um it's the same kind of things uh same ui i was showing the graph um but there was one last thing i could actually uh save the scene so here's default world i'm gonna right click this and do rename and i'll just name this like um uh with sarah's cyber world let's say what the hell okay cyber world 3d and then like we'll add some exclamations right um so now this is the uh the name of the world which is kind of like just the scene it's just the level or, or it was what i'm calling the world um and um i'll rename this just 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 so you can see so i'll name this um the the floor all caps let's say actually i haven't tested all caps maybe let's see if that works and then i'll rename this uh, actually that's fine i'll leave that and then so now if i uh let's say open this menu and do save this is saving uh it basically just is a save all so it's saving the um the scene it's saving the uh the characters like if i edited the the um textures or whatever so now let's just let's just go here i can press the delete key and then delete this character and let's just delete the floor too just so you can see it actually works so i'm going to delete oh so it's okay so the floor is all caps now if i go here um i could still uh that's why i, I kept the grid so you could still like look around and uh, not get lost even if there's no uh, objects and if i go here load i'm actually going to load this um the scene i just i just saved uh where the hell did i put that okay uh and uh yeah you can't you can't see the menu but i'm i'm kind of going through the files right now and then here now it just loaded that scene so this is the scene i i just saved or whatever and if i go here to the graph you see it still has um like the utf8 or whatever so it has like you know uh commas and uh, uh question not question marks estimation marks you know all this stuff uh but in the actual file name i use the names that are here uh but i just restrict it to uh uh like alphanumerics just like abc the one two three or whatever um because obviously saving like uh, uh, quotation marks and exclamations like cross-platform is just a, a huge pain in the ass. Um, so I just I just don't even bother trying to escape it. It's just like I just saved that from Merrick. Um, but that's the file name. So uh, you know you could rename this and, and save it as something else or, or whatever. And then let me load another model so you can see uh, more than one model. I think that was the uh, payphone looks pretty good. I think it was this one payphone. So you see that was pretty quick and I, I had that model wasn't cached right so i i don't even see where it is let's see payphone oh yeah you know this is this model was in a fbx format and the fbx to with blender the fbx to uh gltf it has like the wrong scale i have to fix this but in this case fbx is like a hundred times the the gltf scale like it's like millimeters instead of meters i don't know it's kind of i'll figure that out but it's kind of dumb so now if i double click payphone now this is the uh actual size and we should uh probably go here oh i could show you the transform gizmo so first of all let's let's move this out of our feet and then um i have to kind of work on this a little bit uh, it's a little uh, it's a little hard like when i originally made this it was on 1080p and it looked good but now i'm on a 4k and the the gizmo is kind of small um so and then here i could also uh, you could see the menu here so i can just go in let's just make this 90 uh negative 90 oh wait is that and then make this zero no wait, wait how did I do this negative 90 and then this yeah they, okay there we go um so now that should be uh it looks maybe the scale of one of these is a little off because that looks a little big for the character let's see yeah that's a pretty huge kind of let's see let's get it um yeah so the scale of one of these is a little off that doesn't look great but I'll, I'll figure that out um so that was basically what i was working on and then um uh, oh the other thing you could see like here if you 
like if it's selected let me double click here now now this is like selected and this i really like this phone actually it's a, it's a nice design on this on this phone so if i double click there it's and, and or just click once see how it like highlights in pink but if i right click i get the context menu and then go here and then the pink tint disappears it's still outlined so you can make sure you know you like you're on the right object uh but it, it doesn't do the tint so you can actually see the actual colors so that was um that was basically uh, what I've been working on. It's just just this UI stuff because it was stuff I can um, that was easy to do without the internet because I didn't need to like do any research. It was just like bugs that you know I knew I knew were there and then you know I could just fix or whatever. And then here like that, that, that that's bugging me. So I'm just gonna hit delete and then get rid of the phone. Okay. So uh, yeah, so this this is that was the basics of like the new features and then. Uh, I mean, you might have seen the other videos. Um, oh, I, I did fix the hair, like, since the last video. So if I go up here, and then, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, the other thing I did was if you uh, press the space bar, it's just, uh, it removes the editor UI. Uh, but I still want it to be able to click stuff. So if you click on an uh, object or character, it highlights, but it's only for, like, a split second. So you know you selected it. So if you, like, click here... You can see the selection, but then it disappears. But now the same controls still work. So uh, the menu is gone, but otherwise, like, you could still do the same thing. So it's just, you know, when you're actually setting up uh, the scene or changing the textures and stuff, uh, it actually, like here, let's show you, like here, the, with the, if I change this to a different HDR map, and then let's get a different K. And like here but then if I'm looking here I can press the space bar and then see like this is the final like final render the final output and I'm like does that look good okay whatever and then if you press space it brings back you know the grid and then actually you know the UI so you can like adjust it and then go here you do have to click um, to get the focus out of the UI or whatever from uh, I'm GUI but then when you press the space bar it's going to be the, the the render, like how it would look in game without the UI. But then you could still, like, you still have some control or whatever. And then here, this is this is uh, what I was saying about the shift. So now you can move just on the Y axis. But, and then, oh, I have to reselect it. Yeah, just on the Y axis like this. Um, so that was, that was basically basically it uh i don't know uh, oh yeah i don't know if, if i showed a good good shot of the of the hair basically finished so if i go here i could rotate the angle and i got this i had to it took a while actually on the transparency on the hair to have shadows on the transparency but that's that's pretty much done to me i uh it looks some angles depending on the the lighting can look a little weird like it's not i think it's a unique look it's not like it's not perfect on on every angle and then i could show maybe i show the like the forest one because i'm doing a lot of which one is it this one yeah this is a little a little darker one so you could see um i mean i don't know i think it i, I think it looks good I, I think it's kind of unique and it's um it feels like hair especially like oh well, that's a little close that's gonna be closer than it's in the game but if I'm like, let's say, let's say uh, that's probably a good, a good distance. So like here, and then get, get some good decent lighting or like something like that. Like, like I think that that kind of has a, a good feel. Like it, it kind of matches the model and it kind of feels like hair. Like it, it feels like there's some volume, even though it's just really just, just hair cards with a, with a transparent shadow or whatever. But um, and then here you can see probably here there's a because there's a little bit of volume you can kind of see the outline of her of her head behind it which is that was one of the glitches i was talking about was like certain angles certain lighting but uh i think i could live with it because overall it looks better than um um well actually you know i could, I could just i could just show you the the other modes so if i go to material and then this is i think hair medium so this is the blending mode which is the weighted weighted blending um the Morgan McGuire thing. So if I go here and let I put opaque, so you can just see what the texture is. So here, it's just there's no alpha, it's just the texture. So this is kind of how the lighting is kind of supposed to look. Um, and then if I go to mask, which is just you know kind of one bit, um, and I could change the you know the uh, the limit or whatever. Uh, 
So, I mean, 50 is a good number, but you could, you could see it works, it works a little different uh, depending on the number, uh, the cutoff threshold. And then hash, which I think, honestly, looks kind of better because you don't have to mess with the cutoff. I still use the cutoff for the shadow for the shadow mapping and stuff. So here, so the, the uh, cutoff is fixed, but you could adjust how thick it looks in the shadow map. Uh, 50 is still good for this texture, but for different models, you might have to adjust it different. But then if I go to blend, you see it doesn't get the the light exactly like in all of them how it's supposed to be because it's showing like the transparent you can see the shadow behind it and stuff like that but especially if i go a little further out like how it would be like in a in a you know third person game or, or a little more kind of whatever uh i think it actually like kind of feels more like here i mean the pink is also probably making it look a little fan fantastical let me see like a little a realistic which one uh this one this one's pretty like uh kind of realistic so so yeah i mean i, I think that's good and so uh it's basically um kind of the additions which uh i've had for the, fra the last uh, the last couple days the additions i made were like just on the ui since i, I didn't have internet so i didn't want to like try to some new features that i need to do to research on or whatever um but i i think it's it's kind of you know coming along i was trying to get something out for um by the end of the year which i think is tight i mean i was trying to release something and then you know i i just get caught up and start you know getting uh <laughs> working on some other app or some other idea but i mean this time i think i i do have to finish something and uh i uh the things that are left for like a demo like there's a lot of features left in the game in general, or just in the game engine, you know, just in terms of features you need for a game. There's a lot of stuff left, but um, I think it's getting close. So I'll probably just call it here because uh, I've been kind of running, running, <laughs> running along for a while. And I think the features I already showed, like uh, the features that, that are new. Um, so this is, this is the update. Um, uh, like I mentioned, I want to get something out end of the year. Um, I mean, I got a video out uh, in July. So, you know, I was trying to get a real time demo, but ended up just doing a video. But um, I, I think, you know, uh, it's pretty good. Or maybe January. Uh, just need to get something out. But it's it's coming along. So thank um, thank you a bunch so much for watching for your support. Okay, cheers.